Hello everyone, welcome to the Ginger Snaps here. My name is Steven. Today, on this very special day, I will be giving you guys my prediction for the 2022 Stanley Cup Final. We started with 16, we're now down to two. Who is taking home the Stanley Cup? Tomorrow, game one begins between the Colorado Avalanche and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Many say the Colorado Avalanche will win. Many will say the Tampa Bay Lightning will win. When it comes to these two teams, they fought all season long and had quite a playoff experience for the fan base and for the team itself. Now, of course, this was a heavily favored final last year, just never came to be. So when it comes to preparation for my prediction of the Stanley Cup final, yeah, last year I had my original video with the Lightning and the Habs, and of course I said the Lightning. Um, of course, I'm a Lightning fan. So I do have to take this into consideration. I do talk to a lot of people who are Colorado Avalanche fans. I talk to many people who are Tampa Bay Lightning fans. But let's break down the combatants of this Stanley Cup final. Representing the Western Conference this year is the Colorado Avalanche, finishing with 56, 19, and 7, and 119 points. They finished first in the Western Conference, and in the playoffs, they showed their true dominance as well, beating the Nashville Predators in round one, four games to none, beating the St. Louis Blues in round two, four games to two, and beating the Edmonton Oilers in the Western Conference final, four games to none winning the 2022 Western Conference Championship. They have a record going into this final 12 and two, only losing twice and both happening in the second round against St. Louis. Now, when it comes to the goal differential between the whole, between the team and the whole entire playoffs, they had 65 goals for and 44 goals against. Yikes. But when it comes to the shots on goal, that's impressive enough as it is. 570 shots on net for the Colorado Avalanche while also taking 395 shots against opposing teams in the playoffs. And representing the Eastern Conference once again for the third straight year is the reigning, defending, undisputed, back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions, Tampa Bay Lightning. Finishing the regular season with a 51-23-8 record, finishing fifth in the Eastern Conference. In the playoffs, they had remained somewhat of a formidable foe for certain teams, as in the first round, they beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in Game 7, four games to three. Then in the second round, it was the Battle of Florida, or lack thereof, as the Tampa Bay Lightning beat the Florida Panthers four games to none, completely sweeping them. Then, of course, in the Eastern Conference Final, they defeated the New York Rangers four games to two en route to their third straight Eastern Conference Championship. Now, when it comes to the goal differential for the team against opposing teams, 52 and 41. That's right, 52 goals for the Tampa Bay Lightning to the opposing team's 41. And as for the shots, it's a little bit more of a hectic thing. 580 shots for the Tampa Bay Lightning, whereas the opposing team, 514. So a lot of more teams had shot a lot more times against the Tampa Bay Lightning than the teams shot against the Colorado Avalanche. When it comes to those kind of stats for both teams, it's pretty much evident that the Colorado Avalanche had a much easier trip to the Stanley Cup Final than the Tampa Bay Lightning did. Yes, Colorado has only lost twice, and Tampa Bay has lost five times. But when it comes to playoff experience and some of the chatter you see online where a lot of people say, you know, Colorado, especially the fans, and I get it, you're excited, when you guys say that Tampa now has an actual opponent, unlike the last two years. Let me just break this down, and I'm being as polite as possible. In 2020, no one was really favored to win the Stanley Cup at all. No one was favored. No one could actually predict who was going to win the Stanley Cup. It was a messed up year. But the Dallas Stars, 
happened to go to the Stanley Cup Final to face the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now, Colorado fans, do you remember who eliminated the Colorado Avalanche in round two? The Dallas Stars. In 2021, the Dallas Stars did not make the playoffs, and a different team altogether did. And, of course, the Colorado Avalanche did, right? They won the President's Trophy. They lost in the second round again to the Vegas Golden Knights, who would then go to the Final Four to lose to the Montreal Canadiens. Hence, the Montreal Canadiens going to the Stanley Cup Finals to lose to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Yes, I know some of the fans are going to sit there and say, well, they're facing a contender this time. Tampa actually has a challenge. I agree, they do have a challenge. But if you look at that Dallas Stars team, you look at that Montreal Canadiens team, they had faced adversity before. And then they went up to the finals when no one thought they could. Colorado, on the other hand, had gotten an easier trip. Just look at the two sweeps. This is going to be Colorado's toughest challenge. They want to win the Stanley Cup. They have to go against the back-to-back -back Cup winners. Now, I know Colorado fans, the Avalanche won in 2001. They beat the defending Stanley Cup champion New Jersey Devils that year. Rightfully so. Maybe they could do it again. Now, when it comes to this final, there's a... Story that's not being mentioned. It's not Maroons four in a row. It's not Perry's three with three different teams. It's a different one. And it all has to revolve the number three. Now, the Colorado Avalanche, as we all know, is 2-0 in the Stanley Cup Finals, winning in 1996 and 2001. And the Tampa Bay Lightning just happened to be the back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions, winning the Cup in 2020 and 2021. So who is it going to be? What's the outcome going to be? Is it going to be the Colorado Avalanche going 3-0? and Or are the Tampa Bay Lightning going to go three in a row? So, for my prediction. Colorado fans, don't take this from the heart. Okay? I'm just, you know, the biased fan, right? I can't just give up on Tampa now. They're in the finals now. So I'm going to be predicting that the Tampa Bay Lightning will three-peat in five games. Now, this is where I have to say something to all you Colorado Avalanche fans. This is not going to be me fucking roasting you. I've had too much respect for the Colorado Avalanche for the last two years. The team is just built so good. The, the roster has so much depth. You guys have come a long way. You guys are riding off of very successful seasons, reaching from the Stanley to the Stanley Cup final. And it's just, it feels like your time now, right? It just absolutely feels like your time. Of course, I'm not picking that your time happens now. It's Tampa's time once again. But me being humble, being a back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champion, right? I will say that if the Colorado Avalanche actually win the Stanley Cup, I will not have any hatred towards it. It's much earned. I will be tipping my hat to you guys in much well respect. You guys would have deserved it. But I am rooting for the Tampa Bay Lightning in this final. So guys, let me know in the comments down below, who do you think is going to win the Stanley Cup? Colorado or Tampa Bay? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you also hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Other than that, guys, that is going to be the last you hear from me until the Stanley Cup final has wrapped up. I will be reacting to who wins the Stanley Cup. And... There'll be one more video after that. Other than that, guys, that's it for me. This has been the Ginger Snaps here. My name is Steven. Let's enjoy the Stanley Cup final. I will talk to you guys later. May the best team win, Colorado.
But most importantly, go Bolts!